Hi writers and readers, I'm Christy Stratus and today we are going cafe hopping. We're going to go to a bunch of different places, I think four. We're going to skip Starbucks because everyone knows what Starbucks is like and we're going to try the coffee everywhere and it's going to, it's going to be caffeinated so I'm going to be like by the end of it, you know. I've got my NaNoWriMo shirt, hopefully I'm aiming properly so you can see it. It's, this is so comfy, I think they call it their college sweatshirt or something. So thank you to NaNoWriMo for this, it is so, I really love it. So anyway, we're about to get going and it's all in the same town. So if you like this video, I'll do ones in other towns too and hopefully you'll get some inspiration from it. Maybe you'll think of other cafes that you haven't been to before and try some new things or maybe you'll just experience it with me. So come with me. We just had lunch at this really amazing place called Kitsch Organic. So uh, look how cute this area is, it's adorable. So anyway, uh, off to the cafes, I made sure to only have like a really good fresh juice instead of coffee. And I'm really excited, here we go. We've gotten to the next place, it's called Coffee Corral. It's really little, I'm a little nervous they don't have seating, so I'll show you. Look at this place. There it is, Coffee Corral. I'm gonna take you in with me. Um, I'm gonna hold you low so I don't upset anyone. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. What did we get for you today? Um, I don't know, I've never been here before. Take your time. <laughs> a lot of options. If you have any questions, just let me know. Cool. I don't remember if it's gluten free or not, but. Okay, so that place was so good. It's not really a sit down place. There's like one table as you saw and four chairs. So that's pretty much all there is, but it's a really cute place. And I really liked it. The coffee was amazing. It was, I got a dark, like regular coffee with nothing in it and it was outstanding. It tasted like chocolate and cherries. It was really amazing. So the vibe is awesome. It's just that you can't really sit down. We're trying to get to the Danish cafe. That's the next one on our hit list. And this is like really creepy. I know I'm probably backlit right now, but let me just show you what, what the building is. <laughs> Look it. Oh, thank goodness. I was a little bit frightened. All right, here we go, guys, the Danish cafe. Okay, I really like the brick thing going on, and I like the flowers, it's kind of nice. This obviously has a lot more room in it, so I'll update you guys in a minute. Side note guys, do you see that place out the window? It's right across the street. It's called Two River Theater Company. If you live in like the New York, New Jersey area, you may have heard of it. It's advertised on places like 
like NPR and stuff like that. And it's this great theater company. And actually, I don't think I've ever mentioned this to you guys, but I interned there. I interned at the theater company. It was so much fun. I got to go to some free shows. The people were really great. At the time, I was thinking of going into library sciences and information technology. So I was hired and I was doing um, Oh, I think I was doing grant research and stuff like that, which was really interesting, and I thought about doing that permanently, um, but I decided not to after all, and just kept going for the English Lit, and then, you know, your master's is really, really expensive, so I had said, I, I'm going to take a break after college, after I finish college, take a break, think about my master's, see if I want to do that. I didn't end up doing it yet. Maybe, someday, you never know, but I did work at that theater, it was so much fun. So this place is kind of, it's like an unusual type of vibe. It's bigger, like I showed you. It's got like the brick all over and like the exposed piping and stuff. So that's kind of cool. I'm sure a lot of people would like that. It's got these pretty flowers on the tables and everything. Um, the last place that I showed you had, it was fresh fruit. Everything was fresh fruit. It was like one cup just for you, fresh fruit, anything you wanted, which was really cool. This is more of like a standard type of place. Um, the vibe is pretty good, but it is like noisy, you know? You might even be having trouble hearing me, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's a certain type of feel. Just go this way so you can sort of see behind me. And it's got some unusual stuff in here, kind of a mix. I, I was saying it's sort of like a mix of a cafe and a sports bar feel. But um, yeah, it's, it's really different. Okay, so this is the place we were gonna go, but it's pretty much just a deli type of place, like a sandwich shop. It's not really a cafe cafe, even though it's called Cafe 28. The focus is really just sandwiches and stuff. So I don't think it's really worth uh, going in for our purpose because we're looking for a good writing cafe. Um, so mm, we're just gonna skip this one and move on to the next one. Okay, so Rook is a bit of a bust too because I've been to one Rook that's really, really long and it's got like these sort of like one long table and you would sit at chairs along that one table but this is like way smaller even than that there's no space at all it's absolutely packed so let me show you this is not really an ideal NaNoWriMo spot look how packed it's probably got good coffee but you can't really actually get in and you definitely can't sit but look what's right next to it whoa okay isn't that weird does anybody else think that that's why would you put your coffee shop there <laughs> this starbucks by the way has been here for so long it's been here for so long it's i'm gonna show you this town though because the town that we're in is called red bank it's really really cute i love this place it's got a lot of trendy things going on um really nice restaurants and it's just a lot of fun to go to so I'll just show you generally what it looks like okay we're coming up on the main street here we got a lot of like cute shops plus Jay and Bob's uh, Jay and Silent Bob's you know Jay from the movies I can't think of his last name right now but this was his original shop I meant I met, uh, or maybe it's Bob, I don't remember which one is which anymore, but I met the blonde one when I was really, really, really young before he was famous, so that was kind of cool. And there's like always street performers and stuff. Let's go see this guy and what he's like. Jack's Music Shop, this is super, this is really big where I live. This is really cool looking. This is a new one. I haven't seen this one yet. Look at it with its, it's just like a, what, a Italian restaurant, I guess, but it just looks really different. And there's a lot of iconic stuff over here. This shop was so quiet that I couldn't actually speak in it. So I made this recording just to show you it was an unusual shop. I thought that this tree of little crystals was so cool. I thought it was a great concept for something creative, almost like its own writing prompt. It was a whole table full of all these little gemstones and things and what, they, what they're supposed to mean, what they're supposed to do for you, things like that. So whether you're into that stuff or not, I just thought it was something a little bit unusual and really interesting looking that I liked a lot. I didn't think ahead, so I do have these two coffees here. I didn't think to bring anything to put the other ones in. So I've had to put them back here in this, I don't even know what this is, some kind of compartment in my car. I don't know, but 
guess what guys I was supposed to go to four coffee places today and I would have had to find places for eight coffees <laughs> so I guess that's a good thing it didn't work out with those other two all right guys so my camera died on me because it was no longer interested in filming my coffee extravaganza probably because I ran out of coffee places so we've got two coffee places that were good but just very different feels I like the first one the best it had really really good coffee and a great atmosphere and now two of them didn't work out and at last I really like those rocks those crystals and stuff I'm not very into crystal stuff I just like how they look and stuff and I have an idea for a novel type of thing maybe we'll see how long it's gonna be in the future that's gonna be something to do with jewelry I think I've mentioned it before it's loud so anyway um, I hope you had fun coming with me I really enjoyed doing this I like bringing you guys places so if you guys want me to do this again but with maybe other coffee places or other types of places in general like uh, bookstores or anything like that I'll take you um, I had a lot of fun so I'm gonna go back to that first place again another time now I've got a bunch of coffee that I have to drink it's just such a tough life you know so best of luck with NaNoWriMo if you're participating and I hope you guys have a great day